Our dream as filmmakers is to have an internal electronic ND filter inside cameras. Maybe we're not there yet, but thanks to this gentleman and the company that this lady is representing, we are one step closer. Check it out. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from CineD and I'm here at the LC Tech uh, booth. And actually, we just saw a very interesting product that I want to share with you as much information as I can. I'm here with Jasper and Natasha. They're both from different companies, but we're going to have the full story in a second. And please allow me to start with Jasper. I know ladies first, but here Jasper is the one that actually has the product itself. And Natasha and her company kind of ride on the success and bring it to a next level. So Jasper, first of all, you know, we talked what a year ago, two years ago, and you are from a company that actually making a very engaging uh, ND filters in a way. But maybe you want to describe better what you do. Yes, so, so uh, we are from Elsitec. So we are a Swedish company. We develop our own products. We do in-house manufacturing. And we have met several times for dis discussing our electronic ND filter, right? So we have it in a small form factor that can go either internal inside cameras. So we work with various camera companies. It can go in a lens mount, lens adapter, and also in matte box. Okay, so maybe not so fast because you just kind of try to sneak a sentence, which is very important. Okay. Let, let me have this for a second. So this little thing is an ele electronic uh, ND filter. Yes. And what you actually say, wait, let me hold it correctly. This can go into a camera. So why don't we see this in cameras up until now? Uh, so we cannot disclose our uh, customer names. Uh, we know the Sony ND, liquid crystal ND. They make it for themselves and keep it for themselves. And outside Sony, we're not aware of that many companies offering electronic ND. Okay, guys, remember the day and the date and the time that you heard this first here at CineD. There are some companies that are currently exploring the possibility of putting an electronic ND filter inside the camera. That will be a huge thing because, of course, we want electronic ND in the cameras. Same time, same place next year? See where we are? Yeah, of course. Glad to. Great. So, of course, you also mentioned the uh, possibility to have this in a bigger thing, in a, like a mud box, for example. Yes. Um, but... That's not the only thing that we have. No. So obviously you teamed up with Natasha and the company that she's representing. So if you don't mind, I'll just quickly check. Natasha, how are you? Hello, very well, thank you. How are you? Thank you very much for being patient. So you're representing which company? Uh, so I'm here for Kipitai. Uh, so John Marchant is our technical director that has been um, working with um, Jasper to uh, produce the products that we've now been able to uh, get out onto the market. Okay, so you, I don't know who heard of, about whom first uh, you heard about them or they heard about you uh, I think we had first contact in 2019 or something so we don't sell to the end user we do business to business only so we are depending on reliable fast high quality companies so then we reached out to keep a tie in 2019 nothing happened but after IBC last year they came back to us and since then we have been collaborating and they bring the, our product to the market. So timing is everything in life, obviously. So what uh, Jasper just showed us evolved into, uh, this is actually part of an actual um, adapter. Uh, this is the RF to PL um, lens adapter with the uh, drop-in filter. So this is the LC mini range that we do. Um, the one in here at the moment is one of the um, FX options that we do. Um, and this is a star filter, which uh, Jasper is uh, in early uh, production with the glass for that. Um, and then in your hand there is the LC Mini ND, which is shipping from us at the moment. Um, so you can buy that on our store. Um, and then the mounts are going on sale after IBC. Um, but it also works in the um, Canon uh, variable ND mount as well. If you already own one of those and were just interested in the um, in buying the this product, then you could do that. Let me release you from the camera itself and ask a few more questions. So first of all, electronic ND filter, you need your own adapter, as you said. Yeah. 
in terms of powering, how do I power the LC Tech uh, electronic ND? So there's a battery in the um, in the cartridge filter, um, which powers the um, the glass, and then um, the battery should last you for around a couple of days. Um, and then when you need to recharge it, uh, it's got a USB-C uh, plug on the front of it, and you can charge it via a cable. Um, so when you purchase one, it comes with a cable so that you've got the uh, the tools. But most people have a USB-C charger anyway. <laughs> uh, you mentioned three types of filters. So obviously those are not swappable. That means that I have to buy the whole cartridge? Yes, yes. So uh, the ND version, like I said, that one's available to buy right now. And then we're um, working with LC Tech to produce the um, diffusion version. Um, so it's a mist. Um, and then uh, there's also a uh, star pattern that they've been working on as well. That's a potential um, yeah, option to explore. So there's lots to come, but they are, you would have to take them out of the filter and swap in another one. Um, so since we're talking adapters, can you please let me know adapting from what to what? Absolutely. Uh, so we have the RF to EF like Canon do. Um, we have an RF to PL, um, which will give you lens data on the red cameras. Um, and that also has adjustable back focus. Um, and then we do an E to PL, a Z to PL and an L to PL. A lot of PL. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very common. Yeah, very common. Okay, uh, since this is already a product that obviously you can purchase very soon, what will be the price of the adapter? I mean, guys, just to make it clear, you cannot buy this alone. You need it, you, you have to buy this with the adapter. So what will be the price of average adapter with uh, the ND filter inside? Uh, so the uh, adapter that we're selling uh, is priced at about uh, 700 euros approximately um, and then the filter cartridge will be uh, approximately 800 euros um, is what it works out. 800 for the filter for the filter cartridge yes yeah for the technology yeah i have to say i'm very excited but the price is obviously a bit steep that's in purpose uh, interesting. I mean, it gives you all of your stops in one. So, you know, you don't have to uh, change every time you want to change your ND. So it's it's a, a big plus to be able to have them all in, in one place rather than swapping in and out. Uh, the filters individually are quite expensive. So uh, depends depends how you look at it, I guess. <laughs> Jasper, do you remember how strong or the strength of the filter itself, the electronic uh, ND? Yeah, so this version uh, for the adapter or internal camera, it's two to seven stops reduction. How do you do when you need like a, just a clear, when you don't need the ND basically? So with the adapter, you just take it out? And then swap a clear filter in. So uh, at Kipatai, we've also uh, created the mini filter, which is just a clear piece of glass. So you can swap that in and out um, when you need to go to clear. Um, but it would also work with the Canon clear filter as well if you already own one of those. And any idea how it's going to work inside the camera? Because when you need like a night time, you don't need any filtration, no ND. How, how would you swap between the E and D to uh, clear? So it would be for the camera manufacturers to arrange, but the principle would be the same. So you remove the LC, LC ND and then you insert a clear glass with the same thickness. So you don't change the back focus. Okay. Well, you're also holding in your hand another version, and that's exactly what we talked before. One second. So... This is kind of the product idea, and this is the product implementation, I would say. So that should go into mud boxes. Yep. Same principle? Yep, yeah, so the same principle. Um, it fits into um, a mat box to, again, give you the full range. Um, and this is also being worked on for the diffusion version as well. Um, it's also worth saying that with uh, the LC Cine ND, which is the matte box version, and the LC Mini ND, um, they have a Bluetooth function and an app available so that you can, can control it hands-free as well. Um, and you don't have to necessarily be using the, uh, the dials on the mount, so you can step back and then control it via Bluetooth. When it comes to pricing of the matte box and the tray? Matte box one is still under discussion at the moment. Um, so we're looking at early next year for a release date for um, for the LC Cine ND. Um, so the price is, is uh, we're fine tuning that uh, as it stands between ourselves and us. Can I be part of the discussion and try to convince the, the manufacturer to... Give your opinion, absolutely. We're always open to what people have to say. <laughs> Good. Jasper, 
Yeah. You've been like a marathon runner for me. <laughs> You've been running for, you, know, you have a great idea. Now there's a product. How is the feeling to see a progress? Yeah, it's, it's great. We have been working, I think we worked with Aperture very long time ago, 2014 or something. They showed the first uh, very simple adapter with our filter. That was the first generation. I would say now maybe now we're the fourth generation of our product that has been perfected over the years. So it's extremely satisfying and it's always nice to be here at the show and users come and tell us how much they appreciate our products. So. This gentleman is really inspiration, I have to say. You, when you see the dedication and not giving up, and now I'm personally very, very happy to see that there is a very nice cooperation. I hope the prices will be comfortable at the end. I understand, of course, the benefit of something like this, and it's only the beginning. Really good. Natasha, as ladies first, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to speak. Jasper, anything that I forgot to mention or you want to add before I say thank you very much? The diffusion, we have pushed a lot. You said we're a marathon runner. So we had the END for several years, but we always look for new things to do with our technology. So last year we showed the early version, first prototype of the diffusion. So within one year now, the last year we have perfected it and now it's ready for, for launch. So the diffusion will be part of the ND, like a combine or just a different one? Uh, it's different one as it is today. We could in principle sandwich them, but you can, so you can stack them also if you like. Sky's the limit, huh? Right, of course. <laughs> Okay, great. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.